interesting intro. All right, hello, Mr. Lozankis. Um, we're here to talk to you about how we actually ended up making our hovercraft. Well, here's our uh, science experiment. It's basically made, made up of a CD and a spool, and then you know we have a balloon and we just blow it, attach it right here, and then we let all the helium go right here under this hole, and it kind of just expands like that, and then we just to actually let the helium go through the hole, we just use a twist tie, we tie it around the balloon, and then once we, let, we need the helium to exit, we just uh, undo the twist tie. Now, Kalen, who's right beside me, is going to talk about the problems we encountered. Um, basically, uh, some of the problems that we faced were that um, uh, there were actual holes inside the spool, and so we had to cover that up with um, glue, but there was some... There's still some holes left over, so it didn't it didn't get like a full rising effect. It actually got like a little little hovering effect, so it couldn't fly. But we we're so happy with it. Probably said, well, you need to understand this, right? Inside the balloon, it's a higher air pressure outside in the balloon, and it's a lower air pressure um, in the outside air. So the actual air was forced to come out the tube, creating a um, uh, an air layer that was um, uh, that made it float, right? So I made a 3D animation using a really good 3D program called 3ds Max, and I basically modeled the CD and the spool and also the balloon, and I basically kind of animated it to kind of show you guys exactly what we mean. Uh, a 3D animation. Yeah, um, uh, and that's we're back right now, and that's uh, basically it for um, uh, this little presentation. And I hope that you learned a lot. Okay. We did. Yeah.